Hi, everybody. That night started with my girlfriend in August of 2022 sitting on the couch, just aimlessly scrolling through her phone, and she goes, hey, would you like to go to a Halloween party on the Mooshaloo hosted by Fred Durst? Yes. Of course I'd want to do that. Because you have to understand, at this point in time, this was like peak Fred Durst. There had been like two documentaries about Woodstock 99 that come out, and he was just all the rage again. And I'm not like particularly a fan of Mr. Biscuit, but <laughs> like, I'm not going to turn off Nookie if it comes on the radio, right? So we went. She goes, all right, I'll ask my best friend Zoe and her friend Ryan. And Ryan is my friend, too. He's a stand-up comedian. He's tall. He's ridiculously fucking good looking, like CK1 model, 1990s good looking. 6'5", you know, just a handsome guy. Maybe I have a crush on him. So <laughs> he's into like Muay Thai and like mixed martial arts. And like the only time I'm ever rolling on around, around on the ground with the guys and I'm trying to fuck him or get my wallet back. Like we couldn't be two different people on the planet, right? So we pregame at my apartment in Northern Liberties and we're drinking, and we're trying to figure out, like, like what this night's going to be like. But I got to be honest with you, I didn't think a fucking soul was going to show up. I was only going for the irony, because I wanted to get a picture with a fallen Fred Durst. Like, how do you go from Woodstock 99 to hosting a Halloween party on a boat where suburban couples go for their anniversary dinner? <laughs> like, how? How do you go from that fucking height to here? I had to see it in person. Had to see it. So like any normal adult, I ate an edible and got in the Uber with my, <laughs> with my girlfriend and her best friend and my best friend. And we go, and I have to, uh, I got to be dead honest with you. Um, when we got there, it seemed like it, the gates of Delaware County and Northeast Philly had fucking opened up. <laughs> and as everybody from those areas came, and I'm from Delaware County, I can say it, everybody had their hat backwards. I was like, this is not what I fucking showed up for. And not only that, it was a Halloween party, and everybody came dressed up. Everybody. We were the only four fucking people on this boat, save for another couple that we met, that went there and not dressed up. People took this seriously. I did not think that was going to happen. I was pissed. We actually met two couples. One had traveled from Ohio to see this, and another from Canada. I swear to God, Danielle, I can't even fucking believe it. So we go, and all I wanted to do was meet Mr. Biscuit. That's all I wanted to do, right? So there's like a dance floor and there's like a, like a DJ booth there and he came in like a Halloween outfit. I'm not even sure what he was dressed up as. And all he did was get on the mic and talk shit about NSYNC, like a guy that peaked in high school. That's all he did, that's all he did. He talked shit about NSYNC. And then when he came down from his perch, you know, his lofty ivory tower, he was surrounded by like a phalanx of security guards that like Alexander the Great would be jealous of. Like I was so mad, I just wanted to meet Mr. Biscuit. And I didn't. And not only that, Mr. Biscuit didn't play any of his songs, so fuck him, right? So I'm 44 years old. I am 10 years older than everyone I'm with, my girlfriend and friends. And I am feeling my, like, I'm feeling a little, like, out of sorts at this, right? So it's 11 o'clock, edible wore off. I'm like, I want to go home. I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. That's all I want to do. So we go out. We go to this, like, roundabout. We're waiting. And there's this gigantic six-foot Five redheaded dude wearing a Phillies hat, 400 pounds, just a massive human being. And he's harassing this young kid. He's like this like kid, he came dressed as an Amish guy to the Halloween party, right? He starts accusing this kid of being Amish, and this is what he says, and I swear to God, he goes, these Amish kids, they come to Philadelphia and they fuck our women. I'm like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I have never seen an Amish person in Philadelphia at all. And he's like running his mouth. So me and my friend Ryan, we do the nice thing. We intervene. We say, hey, guy, like, you know, cool it, you know? Oh, by the way, if you're diner in Blanc, this was diner in sweatpants. I'm not even kidding you. That's how bad it was. So the kid is uh, like, so we called an Uber. My girlfriend and her best friend put the kid. He's being harassed by this guy. Me and Ryan really thought we, like, cooled it, like, you know? They put him in our Uber and send him home. And then the guy starts running his mouth to my friend Ryan's girlfriend. And he's just saying all this shit. And finally, he says to her, he goes, well, fuck you, bitch. And my buddy Ryan turns around. And he goes, what did you just say? And the guy goes, well, I played football in high school. I swear to God, I played football in high school. Great, that's great, Al Bundy. That's awesome. And he looks at Ryan, 
and he starts like pointing at John, and he's like, what the fuck are you going to do? He, and he goes, what are you? And he looked at me, and he goes, and your buddy, who's old as dust? <laughs> I'm bodied. I'm done. Done. Right there, I'm out of the fight. Like, fucking dead. Right? Knock me out one punch. And then he goes to grab my friend Ryan's neck. The stupidest decision he ever made. And my buddy Ryan, who was a very lithe and handsome man that I have a crush on, as we've all talked about, uh, took this man and threw him. Like, you ever see someone throw someone out of a bar? He did that to this guy into a bike rack. And then the guy got back up. And then he came at my friend again, and my friend threw him on the ground. Didn't hurt him. Could have massacred this guy. Took his head and just slammed it in the ground real quick and goes, knock it off. And then he starts crying. Profusely, okay? He looks at my friend's girlfriend. He's like, you were right. You said your boyfriend would kick my ass. And then he comes up to me, and he goes, hey, man, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that I said you were old as dust. All right? And I said, all right, fine, man. Like, I'm just fucking not stoned anymore. I'm going to go home. But now, every time my knee hurts, fuck, I'm old as dust. <laughs> Anytime I'm out with my friends, I'm going to go, oh, there he goes, old as dust. So that comment has haunted me for 367 days because it was October 22nd of 2022. Thank you very much.